So in an earlier tutorial, we looked at how to insert characters in Articulate Storyline. But what happens if you later change your mind about the character that you're using? Or maybe you just want to switch the character's expression or their pose or something like that. Well, the good news is you can do that really quickly without having to delete the character and reinsert a new one from scratch. And that's super helpful, especially if you've maybe applied some animations or states or triggers to your character. You're not going to lose all that work just by switching to a different character. Like in this example, I've got a character on my slide, and you can see down in my states panel, I've added a couple of states to him to show him in a different pose, different expression, depending on you know which of these buttons the learner clicks on my slide. I've also added an animation to him. Up here in the Animations tab, I've got an entrance animation that makes it look like he's kind of sliding into the screen from the right-hand edge. But let's say my client doesn't really like this character. Let's say that they'd rather maybe have a woman instead of a man in this particular scenario. So what I can do is select my character, and when I do that, I'm going to have a tab up here under Character Tools called the Design tab. And if I click on that, this is where I can make whatever changes I want. So over here, I would click on Character, and then I could swap that character for a different one. Like maybe I'd rather have her instead of the guy. And then see down here in my states panel, when I make that change, I didn't have to go through the work of changing my states. Storyline makes that switch for me, so that saves me a lot of clicking. And I can also come up here and change the character's expression. Like if I'd rather not have her just smiling like this, maybe I want her to be you know, looking like she's talking. I can make that change. I could also change her pose. Um, maybe instead of having arms down at the sides, I could have her... Um, kind of gesturing like this, or I could even change the perspective as well. And you'll notice down here that that change is not going to mess up anything that I've customized in my individual states. Now if I did want to change something about one of the states in this character, I can do that just as easily. I can just select the character, click Edit States, and then go to the state that I want to change. And maybe if I didn't want her to be um, you know, looking like this with her thumbs up, I could come up here and change her pose to something else. Maybe she'd be pointing or whatever. And then I could click Done Editing States and all the other customizations that I've made to these other states are still preserved. So now if we preview this, the slide's going to act just like I designed it. It's just that the new character is in place. So you can see the animation was preserved. If I click on either of these buttons, you can see how her expression and her pose changes the way that I intended. So pretty neat. And the photographic characters work similarly. Here's an example of that. On this slide, I've got this character. And let's say maybe down the road, I really decide that I, I don't want him in this pose after all. Well, we can change that to something else really easily. So if we select him and then come up to our Character Tools Design tab, we can just click Pose, and then we've got the same dialog that we used when we inserted him. We can just switch him out to something else. And again, if you've got some states that you've applied to your character, you could swap those out for something else as well. Now, some other things to keep in mind. There are actually a lot of other tools up here on the Design tab to help you customize the way your character looks. So you could change you know, the layering order with this bring forward, send backward option. You can even click here and send the character all the way to the back or all the way to the front. I should also mention, though, that down in the timeline, you could do that as well. You can just drag that character to a different spot on the timeline to change the order of your layers if you've got lots of objects on your slide. And you've got some other options up here, too, for the alignment of the character. You could also group the character with other objects. You could even rotate the character. Um, and just like with any other image, you can crop the character or assign a specific height or width to that image. Um, and then in addition to those, if you go to the Format tab, you've got even more options for customizing the way your character looks. You can apply any of these effects that you could to any other image. So that's a quick look at some ways that you can customize your inserted characters in Articulate Storyline.